the focuser out to the 1.5 cm scale line. Tighten the focuser locking screw. Rotate and remove the M48 adapter to remove the corrector. Use a T8 Torx wrench to remove the M48 adapter. Install the alignment adapter and M48 adapter onto the focuser in sequence. Install the 1.25 inch adapter and collimating eyepiece in sequence. Now you can start calibrating the optical axis. Use a 2.5 mm wrench to adjust the primary mirror locking screws so that they are flush with the bottom surface. Use a 4 mm wrench to clockwise tighten the primary mirror adjustment screw. Loosen all three secondary mirror adjustment screws. Tighten the secondary mirror locking screw until the secondary mirror holder can be turned with force. Turn the three secondary mirror adjustment screws so that they all can touch the base of the secondary mirror holder. View through the 1.25 inch collimating eyepiece. Adjust the secondary mirror adjustment screw. Let the actual situation is as same as the one shown in the illustration, the red circle is concentric with the center point. Remove the collimating eyepiece, 1.25 adapter, and collimating adapter. Attach the corrector and M48 adapter, recover to the original state. Connect an eyepiece or a camera, and make the 15028HNTL in focus. Mount the 15028HNTL to an equatorial mount or a base, aimed at an artificial star point or a bright star point to observe. Adjust the focuser to make it in a state where it is about to be in focus, and if the star points isn't a concentric circle, the primary mirror will need to be adjusted. Adjust the three primary mirror adjustment screws, and move the target star point along the wider direction of the diffraction ring to the edge of the field of view. Adjust the equatorial mount, move the target star point back to the center of the screen again, and observe whether the star point is a concentric circle or not. If the target star point is not a concentric circle, repeat the above steps until the star point appears concentric. Lock the three primary mirror locking screws, the primary mirror collimation is complete. 